Edward Thomas's Adult Strop has been a really special poem to me for many years, as it has done for, for so many people. It was one of the poems that first got me into poetry many, many years ago. And, and I think even now, after hundreds of times of, of reading it on the page, out loud, and in my mind, it still has that special spark, as it, as it has for, for so many. Um, and when I bought um, Edward Thomas's collected poems about seven years ago, um, I was really pleased that in the notes to the poems at, at the back, um, there was an extract from Thomas's journal dated 23rd of June 1914, so just 100 years ago, and he actually pinpoints the time that he stopped at Adelstrom. He was on a journey from London up to Oxford and then on to Leddington where he was going to stay with Robert Frost, the American poet. And the, the, for me, the, the extract from the journal, you can really see that was the, the seeds of the poem are, are in that uh, extract. And I'm just going to read that for you now. 23rd of June, 1914. A glorious day from 4.20 a.m. And at 10, tears above tears of white cloud with dirtiest grey bars above the sea of slate. Then at Oxford, tears of pure white with loose longer masses above and gaps of dark clear blue above haymaking and elms. Then we stopped at Adelstrop. Through the willows could be heard a chain of blackbird songs at 12.45, and one thrush and no man seen, only a hiss of engine letting off steam. Adelstrop! 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 Adelstrop by Edward Thomas. Yes, I remember Adelstrop, the, the name. name. Because the one afternoon of heat, heat, the express train, train drew up there, there unwantedly. It, it was, was late, late June. June. The steam hissed. Someone, someone cleared his throat. No one left and no one came on the bare platform. What I saw was Adelstrop. Only the name, and willows, willow herb, and grass, and meadow sweet, and haycocks dry, no whit less still and lonely fair than the high cloudlets in the sky. And for that minute, a blackbird sang close by, and round him, Miss Dear. Father and father, all the birds.